Hello everyone, my name is Mike. Have you ever wondered how many buttons you pressed while playing? Maybe 5, 10, 15? Yes, of course you haven't thought about it, but I thought about it and... An idea come to me. Why not create a game in which only one button will be controlled? That is, the player will walk left, right, forward, backward by pressing only one button. You will say that is impossible and I will answer that there is no impossible. And on this excellent motivational note we proceed to the development of the game. A little background. It all started a few months ago. And no, I didn't develop this game that much time. I spent a couple of days developing it. Then I just came up with this idea. I wrote it down in a notebook on my desktop and safely forgot about it. And a week ago, when I decided to clean my desktop from unnecessary garbage, I saw a file called idea. There was this inscription, an idea a game in which you can control only one button. There hasn't been a video for several weeks and then there was such an idea for a video that I couldn't miss it and immediately started developing it. Well, or not right away, or maybe not at all the day. History is silent about this. When I finally sat down at the computer, the following idea came to me almost immediately. There is a field, it's divided into cells, in one of the cells a character, in the other a flag. The character needs to get to the flag, how to do it and everything is very simple. At the bottom of the screen there will be a scoreboard in which one of four button variations will be shown every 3 seconds. And when you press the space bar, the character will walk where the arrow looks. Also, the player will have a limited number of moves. So that the game is not so simple. After I showed my early skills in paint, I went to Photoshop to draw graphics. This will be my first time when I will draw something not pixeled, which you can congratulate me on. I will not stop on the graph for a long time. I'll just put the drawing process accelerated 10 times on the background and tell you about the objects that I will draw. These were the character himself, the grass, the flag, the arrow and the place for the arrow. Maybe the character or the rest of the graphics frightens you, but don't worry, you're not the only one, I'm scared too. After that, I transferred my art creations for the game engine, placed them on the stage and yes, I replaced the grass. The last version was too terrible, this one looks better. I also made animations for several objects and moved on. First of all, I created a script for a timer, which will later be used for all code except for playing sounds. There I wrote a simple timing mechanism and added it to the scene. Just a few lines of code and my character can move, so in one direction and it does not depend on the side where the arrow is looking, which has also been stationary so far. After a couple of minutes the arrow could spin and the character could walk in different directions, but I ran into one trouble, namely boredom. Yes, signs the arrows change randomly. The arrow can look in one direction for tens or even hundreds for seconds. In order to speed up the game I needed to add a time acceleration button, but then I remembered that I could only use one space bar. Almost immediately I came up with an idea with which it was possible to implement the following mechanics. If the button is held down, time accelerates. If it's not held down, the player walks. It sounds simple, but in fact nothing like that. After two hours of trying to write code for this mechanic, I went to bed depressed. The next morning I figured out how to implement my idea. I just needed to change the script a little and in one hour everything was ready. The next step was to add a limit of the numbers moves. For this I placed the text in the upper left corner and wrote a small code for it. I also created a menu that appeared off the screen after there were no attempts left. Next, I made it possible to move to the next level when the player touched the flag. The main mechanics of the game were ready. It remained to make the parts and sounds and music and create a couple of levels. I made only two types of particles. Also, I could have done more. This is an explosion that appears when the character dies and confetti appears when the flag is touched. The next step was to search for sounds. I went to free sound website and started looking for sounds. Well, fuck it. Then I created audio manager using the tutorial from Brackis and started creating new levels. Unfortunately, I had enough to create only one level to which I added fire. Now you probably understand why I didn't create levels further. 
but the point is not in the number of levels, but in the cool mechanics which I personally really liked. Ok, I will not delay with the result. Watch and enjoy. I really like the sound I found, and even more the mechanics themselves. So, I had a great idea. What if I redrew the graphics, refine the mechanics and add a lot of different features, and put the game on the play market? If you like this idea, support me with a like and comment. Well, Mike was with you. See you in the new videos.